Ticket to Victory, Set 1, Paper 2. Question number 11 by Murari Lima Zamrud. Good morning to Puan Zainab and my friends. Today, I'll be explaining question 7 from the paper. So, the question is, in the figure 6, EDB is a semicircle central at A and ADC is a semicircle central at B. After reading the question, we understand that A and B are a center point for both semicircles. So, first question, calculate A, which is this value, in radian. Before start calculating, let's we look at the diagram. Looking at the diagram, we can understand that a, D, D, B and B, A are having the same value which is 6 cm. Why? Because it's a radius and must have the same value as E, A and also B, C. So any triangle with same length known as equilateral triangle. So equilateral triangle are also having same angle. So if same angle, what you must do 180 divided by 3 you will get 60 for each angle. So this is 60. To find this, this angle, you must you do 180 minus 60, which you will get 120. Why you must minus with 180? Because this is a straight line. A straight line is always a 180. So to find the radian, you must use this formula. So just substitute your angle times 3.142 divided by 180. Why 3.142? Because they already give in the question. So, it's 2.095 rate for the first question answer. Second, calculate perimeter in CM for the whole diagram. So, you must calculate the perimeter for this diagram. So, now the problem is we already know the value for this. But we don't know the value for this both arc length. So, to calculate the arc length of ED and DC, we must use this formula. So, 6 times 2.095. But this value must times with 2 because you are finding for 2 arc length, which is this and also this. So, you get 25.14. So, the total perimeter is 25.14 plus 3 times 6. Why 3 times 6? Because we need to find this 3 value. Total of this 3 value. So, the total is 43.14 cm. So, the total perimeter for the diagram is 43.14 cm. That's all for me. Thank you. For question 7a, besides using this method, we can use another method which is using the cost rule. So, how to use the cost rule? First, we know that we have a triangle. So, draw a straight line in the middle to form two right angle triangle. Now, you're going to find this angle. So, to find this angle, we must get to know this angle. So, we choose this side, right angle triangle. So, once we divide, once you put a straight line, we have two right angle triangles. So, one side of the right angle triangle is 3, 3. So, to find this, what we have is 3 and 6. So, we can use cos rule. So, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, using the cos rule, you just put adjacent. This is the adjacent. And this is the hypotenuse. So, adjacent of a hypotenuse, you will get the same value of this angle in quest from question 1. So, look, it's same. So, after that, same working as method 1. Must take the straight line 180 minus 360, you will get 120 for this. So, once you get 120 here, you just put in the values in this formula so the answer will be the same 2.059 radian so yes thank you